Hi guys, this is Mark from Omnivore's Homestead. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Here in Florida, we can't hunt without a thermocell. But the problem is, is I'm pretty stupid and I forget them on all the time. I lose the pads and they're expensive. So we're, today we're gonna fill these little bottles up. They make it so you can't fill them up after you use them once. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but not just that, the pads. The pads are expensive on their own too. All we need is pyrethrin. <laughs> I've got tons of it around here. So it's just a bug spray. Um, we use it on aphids and stuff. So right here we have the butane refill. You have to get the one that has the tips on it so that way you can find the right tip to fit it. So here we go. This is really, really easy. So to start, we've got to pull that little brass tip off right there. So I'm going to cover it with a paper towel, whatever you could use, napkin, doesn't matter. I just happen to have a rag and overkill pliers. You don't have to be overkill, I just happen to be. And then just give it a good tuck and knock everything all over. Okay, so here's the tip. Let's see if it focuses. So that just came right out. So now there's a check valve in there. They make the stuff so you can't reuse them. So we're gonna pull the check valve now. Let's set that to the side and find my screw. So just a small screw, nothing exciting. You're gonna just stick it in there and tighten it in. Don't go too tight because it's gonna expand it and you won't be able to pull it. Um, this can be a little bit tricky sometimes. That should be tight enough. Okay, put your pliers on it and give it a good yank. That's it. There's the check valve. You gotta love companies. Wow, let's make it so nobody could ever use them. But we're smarter than that. So we're gonna take the brass, put it back in the same way that it came out. Just kind of stick it in there just so it stays. Put it on the table. And that's it. Next, the butane. Got the little refill tip that should be the right size. I'm not sure. I haven't done one yet today and I mix all my stuff up. So with it upright. Wrong size. Can I get the bigger size then? Uh, I think it's this one. So now we move on to the pads. The pads are really nothing special, believe it or not. That uh, What I do is I save all my old ones, and when they end up burnt up, like this one, or dried out and all nasty and crusty, you can get what's called pyrethrin. Pyrethrin is nothing more than an insect killer that you can get from, heck, half of the grocery stores carry it in their garden centers, and Home Depot, Walmart, all of them that uh, it works. I use it on aphids, I use it on caterpillars, all kinds of stuff. So we've got our little bowl right here. And nothing exciting, we're gonna do a five to one ratio on it, that's it. So I did a little splash inside here to get it to the five to one. We're gonna give it a little secret stir. Now it has, a, has an odor to it, just like all the other thermocell pads do, but there's an argument going around, do thermocell spook deer, do thermocell not spook deer. I think that they still do, but I don't want to get bit by bugs. So I'm going to take my pad, I'm going to give it a dunk. Nothing exciting. It doesn't need to be soaking wet completely. And then I take them and I put them in little Ziploc baggies for later. Pew! So we're all refilled, I got three ready to go. I only had two discs to do today. The wafers, whatever you want to call them, the pads. And all of this was, let me see, $2.99 for the butane. I think it was like seven bucks for the pyrethrin and this goes a long way. So call it a little over $10 and I could probably fill, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, probably 20 of these things with this. And then this, this just goes for a long, long time. You probably buy this once in your life and that's about all you'd end up needing refill pads every day. But pretty simple, pliers. 
done. <laughs> Let's go try to kill a pig. Actually, turkey season's open. Let's try to kill a turkey instead. So thanks for watching, guys.